Pac-10 women's gymnastics continuing here at Poly Pavilion, UCLA, with uh, a lead over Stanford after two complete rotations. And you look at the numbers, UCLA scoring just off the season high of 49.45. That's a 198 pace for the Bruins, and Stanford with a 49.325. The Cardinal on a 197 pace if this keeps up. Along with Kathy Johnson Clark, I'm Chris Marlowe, and there is John Wooden, the Wizard of Westwood, won 10 national championships in basketball, and a big supporter of Valerie Condos Field. They are very, very good friends. John Wooden comes to all the meets, and uh, they have a mutual admiration society. Absolutely, and the, the foundations that he built with his pyramid uh, philosophy has helped so many athletes in so many different sports. His first championship, of course, back in 1964. And what a coach he has been. And interestingly, Valley Connors Field told me that they actually take their team over for a day at John Wooden's house, and they just sit around and talk. They talk about life, they talk about philosophy, not so much about sports, but more about the generalities of uh, living a good life. It carries over in sport. That's the key. In my opinion, the, the greatest coach of all time right there. Any sport, any level. John Wood. Lindsay Wing, the end of her routine on floor. Wing, a senior from Cypress, Texas. Very, very nice routine. Their routines have improved so much year after year. They always had a good level of gymnastics, but they're really starting to reform their floor routines more now than ever. Goldberg got a 9.825 as we wait for Lindsey Wing. Now we're ready for Kristen Maloney. Two competitors have gone for UCLA. Lori Wynn got a 9.80. Jamie Williams got a 9.6. So Maloney set the rock. She's had a 10 on, on a couple of events in her career. She's had one on beam, yep. Had one on floor. And Val describes her as one of the toughest athletes she has ever coached. Mentally, just so tough. For her to come back after such a long layoff and compete so well is evidence of that. Particularly on this event. This is not an easy event to just pop back in. You know, I asked Val Condos Field about national teamers coming back to compete, compete collegiately, and she told me that Usually they're very obedient, they're mentally burned out, and their bodies are beaten up. So it takes a certain kind of a coach to deal with the elite athlete, and I think Val has done that very, very well. A lot of the other coaches in the country, I think at first just felt, oh, well, she gets all the Olympians, all yeah. the championship team members. She's got it made, and, it, and it's not that easy. Certainly, they have a lot of talent, a lot of competitive experience. A lot of other things to deal with as well. And Coach Bell does an excellent job of getting them on track in college. Very, very strong team. Now, keep in mind, her injury was to the leg. She, for the long, a long time, had a rod in that shin because it was a stress fracture but just would not be able to finally put a rod in. And they've taken it out now. Now, Stanford back on the floor. Stanford so far, a 9.825 for Goldberg, a 9.85 for Shelly Wayne.
like the way she dances in and out of the tumbling. That's nice to see, so it's not stop and start, stop and start. Kristen Maloney scored the performance quality. 9.925. So Jeanette Antolin set to go for UCLA. Of course, Antolin, the, well, certainly one of the big stories now with the absence of Jamie Dancher. Dancher out another couple of weeks. So Val Condo says that basically she thinks that costs us four tenths of a point in overall because Dancher was so good in so many events that they try to make that up. One positive that has come from it mm -hmm. is Jeanette Antolin stepping up her gymnastics and, and taking that leadership role. Very good stuff on here. She does a lot of difficulty and unique difficulty, which is nice to see. Going to be a great challenge for UCLA this year. I think with Dancher, as Coach Vallett said, we were the number one team in America. No doubt about it. Without her, we're one of the best teams in America, and everybody's got a shot. Dancher out with the ankle injury. Anthony Silver has stepped up. Knowing Jamie Dancher, she'll be she'll be back for the end of the season. Difficult dismounts. Pike double back. Wow. Wow. That is gorgeous. And it's so nice to see many of the other gymnasts around the country are opting to do the easier dismount, yeah. get their difficulty in the routine, still have a 10 0 routine, but play it safe. So Jeanette Antolin is going to get a big score on Balance Babe. How big is it? Stay with us. We'll tell you after this short break. Continuing now, Pac-10 Women's Gymnastics, third rotation, Stanford, UCLA. This is Stanford's Natalie Foley on floor. And remember the USA national team? And she started off big in this event. Interesting double back, another strong pass. UCLA has the lead after two rotations. To the beam, Yvonne Tusek. We mentioned Antolin got a 9.95. That ties her season high. One judge gave her a 10. One gave Antolin a 10. Of course, the other one. Nine. Just to clarify. One judge gave her a 10. Yes, that's the only way you can get a 995. Correct, Kathy? Yes. One judge has to give you a 10. Yes. There are two judges per event. Yeah. Do, you like, do they ever have more than two judges? At uh, national championships. Okay. Yes. Do you like that better, or do you prefer the two? Uh, no, I think more judges. Okay. Is better, but for a dual meet, this is, it's certainly enough, and and they can adequately judge. Oh, I love watching this gymnast. She is so clean, so elegant, very sophisticated. Well, this is the top balance beam team in the nation, UCLA, and they are showing you why with Antolin uh, leading the way. What a strong lineup they have. Five Bruins ranked in the top seven <laughs> in the nation. Can't beat that. That's pretty good, huh? 
two second Antolin are tied for 11th in the ranking. Oh, little over rotation on the dismount. Very nice routine. Nice variety on all these routines, really seeing different types of difficulty, different types of choreography and composition. Makes it interesting for all of us. Next up for the Cardinal, the two-time All-American Florida. So back to the floor. Let's give you the uh, Stanford floor scores. 9-8-2-5 for Goldberg, 9-8-5 for Wing, 9-7-5 for Fleur, and 9-9 for Foley. So Foley with a 9-9, and now it's up to Lise Lave. Whip back all the way through to a little pipe. Another tight double back. This was the only event that they didn't win any All-American honors in last year, and they want to change that. A great difficulty and consistency. Certainly striving to get better. Two second of nine eight five, and now we're set for Kate Richardson. Richardson training for the national team, training for college gymnastics. We asked her how she balances the two. Preparing for the Olympics, um, I've been doing a whole lot more conditioning and longer workouts, you know, and so I'm a lot better physically prepared than I was last year. So my college routines have gotten so much easier for me and I'm like stronger, faster, more powerful. And that just makes it competing here that much easier and I can do my routines that much better. So Richardson, who yes, is a star, a senior from British Columbia, Canada. At a 10 last week on beam. Well, when she is on, she's uncanny. Just her balance and very solid, secure movements. Nice angle there. Just how narrow is that balance beam? Four full inches. Twist, full twist off the side. Good job. <laughs> you know your stuff, Chris. Just under four inches. Just a hair. Sometimes it uh, seems wider, sometimes it seems like a tight rope. <laughs> Opting for an easier dismount, going for the stick. The difficulty within the routine. So UCLA continues to score well, and now Jessica Louie is up. Right before her, Foley got a 9-9. LeVay got a 9-9. So Stanford's starting to pick it up a little bit here. They need to if they hope to compete with UCLA. That was some tumbling pass.
which Kristen Smith has definitely put her mark on Stanford Gymnastics, really raising the quality of their performance, their choreography. Gymnasts, please proceed to your fourth and All right, we can tell you that Kate Richardson got a 9-9-7-5 on beam. We'll add the scores up. Stanford and UCLA were complete through three. Stay with us.